Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about the new Curve and Surface tool. The tool is located under Curves and you'll be able to see it here and it allows you to construct a Curve and Surface on a surface without having to project. So it basically allows you to skip a few steps because traditionally what you have to do is you would have to create a curve right here like this over a surface like this depending on the view you can go to top view side view or whatever whichever view that you need and you have to click project and you have to click the curve and there's your curve and surface which takes a bit of a time depending on your situation now so this is where this tool comes in so let's say you want to project the curve and surface right here all you have to do is click on the tool and on the prompt uh, prompt line it's going to say select the surface to build a curve on so all you have to do is click on the surface right here and it'll be activated as you can see it's highlighting in sort of pink purplish color and all you have to do is just click on a few points like this depending on what you want now so now we have a curve and surface. So now you can also either make it straight or you can make it uh, have a little bit of curve. So right now by default it's set it to degree three. So when I drag like this, it'll create a curve like this. But let's say you want to you want it to make it straight, and then you can always change it to curve degree of one. Then what will happen is just it'll just be a straight line. Like that now so let's go over uh, some of the use case for this so let me just hide this one so a lot of the times most people I would say use this tool including me personally I it's kind of rare that we use this tool to actually construct a curve and surface um, because usually you want to make sure that the curve and surface uh, that is projected onto a surface is very precise so most of the time what you want to um, most of the time you use this tool in when you have a situation where you want to perhaps uh, uh, there's a hole in the curve and surface and you just want to connect those so that you can trim so for example there are going to be certain situations, actually it you know, ha uh, happens more often than not, where you have a karma surface which is broken in the middle. So what you can do is traditionally you can use a curve right here, you can construct a curve. I'll just change it, this to a degree three and you have to align each side like this. Oops, wrong. Uh, I clicked on, looks like I clicked on the wrong stuff and you would have to project like this which involves a lot of step and it depend, uh, you know depending on how you're modeling and the, the line it's going to you know this might take a little bit uh, too long for your liking so in this case what you can do is you can just use the new karma surface tool and click on the surface all you have to is just Control or you uh, control to CV snap, or you can do a curve snap by doing Control Alt. In this case, uh, the points you can uh, snap to is already on, so I can just snap here and here, and we already have a curve. And now you can trim like that. Now it's not aligned, but a you let's say you have a surface uh, that you just want to trim quickly. This uh, this can provide you a very quick method. Uh, for trimming a surface that might have a broken curve and surface because uh, let's say you want to just extend this it's going to create a um, an area which is there are two curve and surface mer uh, merging together uh, in which case you want to avoid so this is a very good tool to use in this kind of situation now another example so let's say you have a curve and surface right here and what you can do is, in this case, let's say you want to just cut a triangle like this, you can either just extend this curves like this, or you can, uh, in this case, you can also use a cur uh, new curve and surface tool. Because usually I like to, when I'm doing trimming, I like to have the extend on like this. But the problem with the extend on is that this curve and surface extends all the way through in which, uh, but sometimes you just want to end it somewhere here. 
So in this case, you can use this. Uh, it provides a very convenient method of creating a current service. All you have to do is just click here, click here, and you are ready to trim. That's it. So that's the new current surface tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.